take a look at this. Eight generations of an American classic, the Corvette. And we have them here just outside historic Studio D. Also here with me is Jimmy Johnson. He is the president of the Eastern Shore Corvette Club. Welcome. Well, thank you. Well, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, these are amazing cars and you guys obviously love them. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. What is it about the Corvette? Uh, everything. Yeah? Everything there, you know, even a big guy like me can get in them. <laughs> it's tough getting in and out, but once you're in the seat, Nothing like it. Nothing like it, okay. Nothing like the American car. Now we talked about the, the eight generations. The, right. You call them C1, 2, 3, 4. Right. The, you have a C1 here. That's a 1962. That's the last year of the first generation. Yeah. And what is it about the, the, the first generation that makes it stand out? Well, they, they were a, a, a straight rear axle. Mm -hmm. The rest of them are independent suspension. Uh, but the first year, first series, went from 53 to 62. Okay. They were a solid axle, they call them. Yeah, yeah. And um, you guys are having a, a car show coming up. Yep, June 3rd mm -hmm. at the Red Men Lodge in uh, Fruitland, Maryland. Uh, registration is at nine to noon. Uh, $20 for the first car, $10 for all the cars you bring after it. Yeah. Which some people bring seven or eight cars. Really? Yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, it's all to benefit our, you know, our uh, charities, which yeah. we can talk about in a minute. Yeah, sure, sure. But the uh, the show is uh, in our 26th year. We've done this 26 years in a row. Yeah. Last year was our biggest show. Uh, we had like 207 cars registered last year. That's amazing. Now, wait, yeah. I want to go back to seven or eight cars. That's how many you have? Well, yeah, something yeah, like something that. Something like that. You can't even keep track. Right. <laughs> But they're not all Corvettes. Yeah, okay. We got some antique stuff that yeah. we take because our show is set up for both Corvettes, uh, everything else, and motorcycles. We have three different classes, uh, which the, the Corvette folks do not vote for Corvettes. Mm -hmm. They vote for motorcycles and everything else, and vice versa. You know, the motorcycles vote for Corvettes and, and the other sure. vehicles. and. That's the way it goes. You don't want any bias, right? <laughs> right, no bias. I mean, we, we're, we're there to have a good time, raise as much money as we can mm -hmm. for uh, our charities, which includes uh, Operation We Care, Bless Our Children, Reefs Across America, and, and a couple others. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I want to get into the Corvettes a okay. little bit more. So we're going to take a little bit of break, okay. and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about some of these classic cars we have okay. here outside Historic Studio D. Okay. You good? All good. right. All right. Stick around. Del Marva Life. We'll be right back. What you are looking at is an engine with 500 plus horsepower, and you can find it in the C8 of the American Classic Corvette. And that's what we are in front of right now here outside Historic Studio D. Jimmy Johnson, president of the Eastern Shore Corvette Club, back with us again. And Thanks. we talked about the C1 right. back over there. Now we're, this is the C8. This is the C8. And this is one of the newer models. This is a 2021. This is the last, the, the newest generation. Right, right. And what's different about this one, I mean, the first thing you notice is the engines in the back. Right. So is that, why did they change it, do you know? Uh, for stabilization. Really? But more stability. Uh-huh. As these cars go faster. Yeah. Yeah, they how keep, fast? They keep, I don't know. <laughs> you know. 50, 55 in most areas. So. Yeah, mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> Everybody in your club who has a Corvette drives 55. Uh, at least. At least. Right. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about this car that makes it different. Well, this this is a coupe, mm -hmm. which uh, the coupe, uh, you can see there's a window in the back on the coupe that allows you to see the engine uh, with, the, with the hood mm -hmm. slash trunk closed. Yeah. Uh, the convertibles, that's not, that feature is not available because the top folds back over the engine. Oh, okay. And it's all folds right down in the back of her. Okay, all right. So. And uh, looking inside here, I mean, take a look at that. How would you like to slip down into that seat and take that for a ride? I know I would. That is beautiful. It looks comfortable. The The instruments are just, everything's just streamlined, isn't yep. it? Yeah, yeah. So in, what is your favorite Corvette? What, what 
generation. I like all of them. You like all of them. It's yes, like picking Kit, your favorite child, maybe. Yeah. 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 You can't do that. It's you can't do good. that. I don't know. You, you, uh, the Stingray, though. Yeah. That is. Uh, is that a C3? The C3 was mm -hmm. the first Stingray. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. my husband's favorite, by the way. All right. So when folks come to the car show that you're putting on, right. uh, which is June 3rd, June 3rd. they're going to see these cars and more? These cars and more. Last year was our largest show. We had uh, 207 registered vehicles at mm -hmm. the show, mm -hmm. which was uh, it's, it's growing every year. We're anticipating at least 250 this year. Yeah. And we want everybody to come out. Yeah. You know, all kinds of cars. Now, what happens trucks. if it rains? Because I know you don't like taking these out. Rain during... date is June the fourth. Mm -hmm. The Sunday the, directly after Saturday. Yeah. June the fourth. So. Yep. Uh, and it's at the Redmond's Lodge. That is in Fruitland. In Fruitland, in Clyde Avenue, uh, in Fruitland. Okay. And what time does it start? Uh, it starts. Uh, registration starts at nine, and ends at twelve. Uh, we have uh, the judging uh, uh, stops at one. We we do a live auction there, and we raise quite a bit of money with with live auction uh, stuff that we sell. You know, goods. And we have a Chinese auction this year. That's something new. Mm -hmm. um, we have a member of our club who was a retired Eastern Regional Manager of Snap-on. Oh, okay. Okay, and he knows a lot of people who donate a lot of Snap-on products. Oh. So we auction off a lot of Snap-on items. Yeah. You know, yeah. 70 or 80 Snap-on items every year. So uh, if you like Snap-on, that's good place to come to get you some deals. And help some great causes. Yes. Uh, of course, Bless Our Children, yep. Operation We Care, and a few Re others. Reefs Across America, mm -hmm. you know, that's dear to my heart. Yeah. And, and, and a couple others, yes. Well, Jimmy, thank you so much. And thank you to the whole club for bringing these yep. cars out here. Couldn't ask for a better day. And I know you're going to have a beautiful day on yep. June 3rd when yep. you have the car show. Thanks. All right, so uh, is it okay if I just kind of... Oh, yeah. Slip in and, sure uh, it is. It's not yeah, my you, car. Help you, yourself. Oh, you, you got you got the keys. Are, are yep, the keys are in it. Yeah. What? Oh no. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tell more of a life. We'll be right back. I don't know if I will. I'm taking this thing for a spin.